This is David, you're watching BTEC, and this video is sponsored by Direct Mobiles for the best mobile deals. Check out directmobiles.co.uk. It's just under a week to go until we see the new flagship release from Huawei. It's gonna be the P40 series, and it will be released on the 26th through an online event only due to all this global chaos that's happening right now. Let's hope this isn't a running theme that's gonna be happening all year, and hopefully by the summertime, all this will be over. Of course, being so close to the release, we get the inevitable renders that have surfaced, courtesy of Evan Blass via Twitter. A couple of days ago, he posted some full frontal shots of the P40 Pro. These images did kind of confirm the rumors that have been flying around. It shows off a device with curves on all four sides of the screen. The appearance of the device is almost bezel-less from the front. Details that we can gather from the display show dual SIM support, but interestingly, the placement of the in-display fingerprint scanner as well seems, for me, a little bit high and maybe a little bit small for a 2020 flagship. The fingerprint icon on most in-display scanners usually indicates how big the surface area of the reader is. Of course, this is just a render and it could be a lot bigger in the real thing. And actually I expect it to be a lot bigger in the real thing, but it's just something that I noticed. For the normal P40, there is no curved screen, but we do get relatively small bezels and a relatively small chin. Along with these renders came some pretty detailed specs about both phones. The P40 5G will have a 6.1 inch display we're not sure if that's an OLED or an LCD, but it will have the dual punch hole cameras. One will be a 32 megapixel sensor and the other is thought to be a depth sensor. It will have triple rear cameras, a 50 megapixel main with 16 and eight megapixel ultra vision sensors. That description leaves something to the imagination, but I can expect that there will be a 16 megapixel ultra wide and an eight megapixel tele. But whatever the system is, it will offer a 30 times maximum zoom range and use Huawei's XD Fusion engine for photos. It will run the Kirin 990 5G chipset and will have a 3,800 milliamp hour battery. The latest leaks for the P40 Pro point towards it having a quad camera system and not five cameras like some of the rumors have been suggesting. This should be a 50 megapixel main plus 40 and 12 megapixel sensors as well as the time of flight sensor and again should be ultra vision sensors and use Huawei's XD Fusion engine for its photos. The leaks say that it will support a 50 times digital zoom, which is surprising considering Samsung offered twice that reach and 50 times matches the capabilities of last year's P30 Pro. We also get a 4,200 mAh battery. Again, no major jump from last year, which is a bit weird considering that this will be a 5G enabled handset with the Kirin 990 5G8's core. 40 watt wired charging is another surprising claim. Huawei handsets have had 40 watt wired charging since the Mate 20 series. But what is even more surprising and pretty amazing, if it's true, is that it should be able to charge at 40 watts wirelessly with 27 and 40 watts wireless charging mentioned in the specs. I'm sure that some of this is true, but I wouldn't be surprised if Huawei have kept back some surprises for us. There are rumors also of new battery tech that involves graphene in its construction, and generally the P40 series is looking to be pretty stunning. But of course, the success of this device in the Western markets especially really does depend on the availability of the apps that we all expect to see in our phones. Yes, of course, I'm talking about the lack of Google services in Huawei smartphones. Since the launch of the Mate 30 series, there has been various methods of sideloading Google apps onto these Huawei smartphones. But now it seems like there's a method that is officially recommended by Huawei themselves. It involves the app gallery and it comes just in time for the launch of the P40 series. According to XDA developers, the app search app was being tested in Germany and was publicly available on the German version of the Huawei app gallery for a short while. The landing page of the app stated that the app is intended to help users install their favorite apps on Huawei smartphones equipped with Huawei mobile services. And it used Facebook and WhatsApp as examples of what could be downloaded using the app. This open version of app search has since been taken down by Huawei and the YouTube video that shows how to use it has also been deleted. But app search has appeared in the new P40 Lite and Huawei say that it is capable of downloading the essential Google apps, including Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, and many more. App search works by front ending the search and installation and then transferring it to the phone. It doesn't get apps directly from the Play Store, but it does use sites like Amazon and APK Pure, but also the app gallery as well. It seems straightforward, but will it be enough to convince people to go for the P40 series? Maybe they will automate some kind of sequence at setup that will get you to install the regular Google app straight away. 
There's only a few days until we find out for sure. We're very excited about the P40 series here at BTEX, and I'm sure you lot are too. So make sure you subscribe to BTEX to be the first to know about this handset with reviews and comparisons on the way. And make sure you check out the Direct Mobile's website for the best possible deals on the P40 series. You'll be able to compare all of the available deals with all of the different networks right there on Direct Mobile's website. Their job is to find you the best possible price. And with over 24 years of award-winning customer service, you're in great hands. Check in the video description below for their link or search directmobiles.co.uk. And that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Make sure you stay safe. Make sure you wash your hands. Make sure you keep your phone clean. Every time you wash your hands, make sure you wash your phone down as well. Otherwise, there's almost no point in washing your hands. Anyway, stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. I'm David. This is BTEC.